Hi, I'm Ben Parsons from Ark City Angels. You're watching Meet the Band with Ark City Angels. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. What's up, gentlemen? What's up, we man? guys just played like another show together. Dude, another one? Um, it's so fun to play with you guys. You guys are honestly, uh, other than Mothman Operatus, obviously, as they, we were just talking with them, one of my favorite new bands to ever see Thank around you, in this area. Um, tell us about the Heavy Calm, man. <laughs> like, yeah, so this, <laughs> this kind of worked out through his connection to Tyler, our drummer. So, um, Austin does solo work and Ty was always his drummer and he knew me just by proxy all of us hung out and he kind of pulled me on to do some like lead stuff with with the solo stuff so we started like messing around with that and then you know he knew that me and Ty were playing metal and one time when we were jamming I was like all right dude like I brought my seventh string you, just, you play violin right pick, pick, pick that up let's go and then I, I told him a key and then we just started like jamming and I was doing you know, the progressive metal rhythms and all that and then that 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 kind of just turned into us you know wanting to mess around with it more and then we ended up kind of creating a little bit of a band of it and as we slowly molded him into metal now he's our vocalist for other band Fateless which is like melodic deathcore he's doing singing and screaming and like it kind of over the last like what like two years two years kind of molded yeah. into this like you know it's, we have the metal stuff, we have the melodic stuff, and then with Heavy Calm, it's just this weird bastard mix of the leads and the violin, and just like, you know, all of us kind of having fun with our musicianship while, you know, kind of keeping the melody and keeping yeah. the heavy and just kind of like, which is funny with the name. That was a name before there was any anything other than like folk, too. Like, that just happened to be the name. Uh, yeah. And then by the time we created the name, I was like, that actually makes sense. Because it's, like, it's, like, it's what I wanted. Yeah, yeah. It's what I wanted. I wanted to get into the heavier stuff because just that that whole vibe. I was always so jealous of bands that were that were playing this heavy music and just seeing them fucking let loose on stage, and that's what I wanted. Um, I had always grown up playing that folk music. I mean, you 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 knew of that before we <laughs> yeah. before we ended up you know being together. And Tyler, eleven years from playing with him, yeah. we went through everything from playing in a like a Christian folk band to now we're yes. playing metal together. It's just yeah. yes. it's just like, wild. Let's praise Jesus let's and praise now Jesus let's go with the praise metal. the Lord of rock and roll, <laughs> robot <laughs> Jesus. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. But um, dude, it's just been it's just been so much fun. It, it's. It's 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 one thing playing with you know playing with different artists, but it's another thing playing with actual musicians. I mean, these guys are just—they're all so adept, so talented at their instruments, um, and then just they make they make me better. They make me want to be better. So always surround yourself with people that are you know quote unquote better than you. I mean, and I, I love it. I love being able to switch between instruments and just create these new soundscapes. And I, I'm just I'm, I'm excited for uh, for what we got coming out. Yeah. Yeah, man. It is amazing that you switch around so quickly and so so easily and fluidly through different instruments. Yeah, thanks, man. So how did so? I mean, let's talk about that for a little bit, if that's all right. Cool. Like, how do you how do you come up with like all right? So when you're writing another song, so you have new music coming out right now. We do. Which yeah. is what Colors, Colors writing new yep. album Colors coming yep. out, yep. and so like how like I haven't quite heard I haven't heard it. I don't mm -hmm. think uh, like if you were to talk about like how you came up with your instrumentation with, you have violin, you have guitar, you have piano, and other, obviously, sounds from the piano yep. that you can create. Like, that must be an arrangement hell sometimes in the band practice room. <laughs> Weirdly, not, like, I, I, I was always an improver, like, yeah. like a lot of my solos live are always improv, even if I have an actual written solo. So like, we always will just like improv and jam and like, a lot of the stuff, especially with violin, comes through through hooks that we'll kind of work on. Because yeah. like, one of my biggest influences in media and then in our music too is a lot of like anime music yep. and video game music. So like, um, you know, say one of our songs tonight, adapt. It's like it comes in with like this low, 
you know, kind of grungy bass line, but before that he plays this really melodic hook on violin that would be, you know, some sort of like an intro to something or like, so we kind of try and blend in those little melodic hooks with the violin and then the piano and, you know, that kind of will usually spark like, say, I'm trying to think of something, even like, like, like uh, practice earlier this week, yeah. You started playing some sort of like new violin thing, and I started harmonizing yep. with it. Then all of a sudden, we were just messing. We're like, let's like back pocket that. Like, yeah. we write mostly through improv, which is probably a bad thing. But like, mm-hmm. I mean, for, no. for, I, really. we work we work backwards almost. But it's it's everything is uh, the genesis of all of our songs, all of our music is so organic. Mm-hmm. We don't think too much about it. We kind of sometimes I'll sometimes I'll switch between instruments, but it will land on one that's that is just so like sonically right that's just there and that's what we'll stick with and there's some songs where I'll switch between instruments like on like on our single wolves yeah, I, yeah. I switch between violin and piano mm-hmm. but it's just it's I don't know man it's just all about being organic and just letting it flow just letting it do yeah. its thing because all of us play different genres Spencer our bassist is, is, is a jazz jazz and church, and church, ch- church jazz church bassist amazing um, Dan Dan's a progressive metal guy Tyler's a Deathcore. Deathcore. And I, I was... The heaviest drummer yeah, I've ever he's seen. He's the heaviest drummer. He's so dynamic. And I'm, I'm a folk guy. You know, yeah. my, my, my solo music, it's all it's all in that folk pop realm. And yeah. it's just wild. But I, I don't know. I, I guess that's a testament to um, to all of our musicianship. And just, you know, we're, we're a family. We're brothers. And I know that gets tossed around. But, um, but it's really true with us. I mean, yeah. our practices begin and end with us playing Super Smash Bros. Oh, no. Nintendo Switch. So it's like, oh, that's sick. That's our, that's our, uh, you know, that's our, our bonding time. But yeah, you know, we, we do our thing in rehearsal, and it's just, it's it's never stressful. Like no, that's kind of the the way that we've built these two, both this band and, and our other band. Yeah. we're always like, who who do we want around us? Who's talented and then just good to be around? Like somebody we can trust with stuff. So. That's kind of what we what we put together, and the just being able to just be organic. And mm-hmm. I don't think we've ever even been like, no man, you gotta play this part. Or, no. Hey man, like make sure you grab your stuff. Like there's never any, any of that, which makes everything you know, free flow. Like even when somebody, somebody's having a bad day, we usually just mold around it and just work with it. Like, yeah. There's not yeah. there's not any of that stress and stuff, which is what no makes egos. Easier, there's nothing. Yeah. We just nice. We honestly enjoy each other's company. And yeah. That's, that's super important in bands. And if maybe someone's having a bad day, band practice is an uplifting experience. Oh, we pick them like, up. Exactly. Like, dude, I had such a terrible day and you're like, all right, dude. We'll, let's fucking rock out, man. Let's, yeah. let's do it. play some Mario. Get your stress <laughs> out. Let's do it. But yeah, yeah. it's great, man. I, I love these guys. I love the music we're making. I'm excited for what we're doing. Dude, I'm stoked. I'm yeah. so excited for it. I love so, the, you, the mold that you guys have started to create and 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 like your musicianship is, is like, as you said, like you guys are and talented as, as all hell. You know what I mean? Like, it's so nice. It's so nice. I get chills. <laughs> Especially, like, so, and, like, your folk, in, your folk influences are all, like, very, like, like soul-driven. Like, when you start singing, you're, like, you feel something very, very important. And I just love it. I just love it. So these guys, the heavy calm, New album coming out, or new solo, single. new single, new single Colors coming, coming out. Eventually. It's all about singles, baby. Everybody. <laughs> That's YouTube, it. <laughs> it's all about singles. Just keep pumping out new all. music. Right, right, <laughs> right. Content, content, Get content. Get those views up. <laughs> Subscribe, like, and yes. hit stuff. the button. Yep. You know, all yep. that shit. The Heavy Calm, dude. That's you guys it. are amazing. www.theheavycalm.com. You can find us on Instagram, we The Heavy Calm. We do have a website. <laughs> I take care of that. Yeah, these, guys, these guys, are, they're not pulling their weight. But Facebook, The Heavy Calm, we're there. You know, we're Hell there yeah. for you guys. Find them there. That's yeah. it. And come see their next show. Please. Yeah, we're working on some. Very soon. Like, yeah. yeah, we get real eclectic with our shows. We've, we've played an, a couple anime cons. Yes. We've played, um, so, yes. All the comic cons have been well, so dope. Well, that's the other way. So, oh, wait. Park. So, yes. we, we, we got to keep this going for at least another f- moment. Yeah. Please tell me, because, like, I, I didn't get to talk to you guys about, like, you guys basically have almost like a comic book creation of yes. all of yourselves. And I, I yes. fucking love that. Yes. Because yeah. I use, I, I love everything comic book, everything. Mm-hmm. I'm a huge Batman fan. I'm nice. DC yeah. nerd, yeah. Marvel nerd. Yeah. I love it all. I love dressing up as that shit too. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, we was, love our comic gods. Yeah. Back in the day, I actually got to dress up professionally as Batman. Yes. With a real cowl, yes. real cape, real nice. costume, yeah. everything. 
So like this shit's amazing. So when the first time I saw your merch, I was like, dude, these guys are superheroes. <laughs> It's my dad. Yeah. My dad's my yeah. dad's an art, a comic book artist. Uh, he uh, he did you know he did some work for DC and Marvel. Did some work for some indie uh, some indie comics. But right now, he's at the point in his career where he has his own universe now, his own creations. Mm -hmm. He just came out with a with a comic not too long ago called Gods and Soldiers. Mm -hmm. He's got another one coming out. He's doing a Kickstarter for a comic called Chango, which is just <laughs> yo, it's so wild but he turned us all into comic book characters yeah. <laughs> and we do have a plan um, to tie it into possibly a graphic novel and some music videos yeah, we have a whole story planned out yeah that's the, dude that, that's the hope I mean, we, that's the hope we've looked at that was one of the initial things like when he you know was a comic I was like can you just do some merch for us because like oh I kind of want to be like that um what happened I ran out of uh oh, it's, all good. it's all good but, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Dude, it's gonna be dope. Dude, we're, we're I can, I can just rolling. imagine like, a, like the images of like you guys, but moving and in some like badass music video. Yeah. Oh, dude, we, we already have it planned out. We're fighting and everything. All planned out. Well, well, we, plan we started writing a story, like again, like our storytelling backgrounds, like you, you still know. Have that going? Yeah, I have this going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like podcast, I mean, baby. It's all right. Woo. We we tried to come up with like a little bit of a plot, and each of our characters were like modeled after certain things like he had this like indiana jones thing going on yep. like spencer like like in the art um spencer is like like this like native american chief warrior because he has some mm -hmm. mm -hmm. this like you know like ninja jedi dude <laughs> like a model after like a couple like anime characters like we have this whole like vibe going and yeah we wanted to write a story to it and like even we we found a way to tie in the lyrics to at least our first five songs to a story yep. Yep. Like how we mentioned tonight, colors, you know, yep. it's about um, somebody kind of, you know, this woman suffering domestic abuse and learning how to get, you know, strength through it and, you know, finding a way to evolve from that. Um, we, we were even talking about like, you know, about having like a main heroine in our storyline yep. and how that would be a starting piece and mm. all these different things. So, yeah, yeah, we started we started kind of writing like a thing. We just haven't between both of the bands and work and changing Oh, work. dude, it's, it's always to hard to, yeah. to nail down the time because any of these projects take so much time. Yeah, oh, it's so time much and money, time. man. But that's all that's it, where we're at right now. Yeah. And all I, all I know is I can just see it, like, like uh, both you and Mo uh, Mothman Operatus mm -hmm. had, like, these very Coheed Kid and Cambria, yes. like, similarities. Yeah. And, like, Coheed's whole and new they, project, did, they yeah. did that. There, and I'm like, I'm like, yes, I want more of that mm -hmm. kind of inspiration from other bands. And, Concept albums. And, dude, you're... Yeah. Your shit's ready for it. I'm like, I'm, yeah. I, yeah. I'm like, full on graphic, d graphic movie, mm -hmm. like short film. Yep. Like, you That's guys, you, as you guys are superheroes. You guys yeah. know, you know, you <laughs> already know. That's, That's it, whole, man. I mean, yeah. I mean, we we want to get into doing some soundtrack work too. Like we've yeah. talked about trying to like, I've always wanted to do it for games, yep. or, you know, yeah. movies or graphic novels, all that stuff. But like, we're working on it. Hopefully, someday down the road we can do the studio work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah, that that's be, kind of our amazing. end goal is getting into getting into film and in television and mm -hmm. doing some doing some dope soundtracks. Yeah, that would be that'd be incredible. That'd be sick. Wow. Make yeah, some man. make some action films. Dude, Absolutely. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Listen, we rock and roll in movies. Come on. Yeah, yeah, no. like, it'll be so sick. Let's call up, call up The Rock or Jason Statham and be like, Listen, guys, yeah, hey, you, you, we got you, you, you with this some, with the smoke some, right here. Some uh, some deathcore behind Jason Statham. <laughs> I'd watch that shit. Let's go. Fuck yeah, <laughs> dude. Day. So where can we find you guys? Like oh, I said yeah. before, the heavy www.theheavycalm.com. Uh, that's our website. It has links to everything, our Instagram, The Heavy Calm, Facebook our Facebook, active. Facebook's active, The Some Heavy Calm. Some sound bites and stuff. Sound bites, everything. We, I think on our website right now, we have our, our single wolves and we have a, uh, a live performance from College Street. Um, yeah, we have a few, we have a few live videos across, yeah. um, across YouTube, too. Yep, like, YouTube, you look up some searches. of our songs and like I think Colors has a, has a live video from when we did the, um, it does. the East Hampton. Um, yep. Uh, Valley Music Battle Valley of Music, Bands. Yeah, yeah. That was so fun. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was a great time. Um, but yeah, I, th I think we have we have a few of those, and then our yeah. one single is out. So. We're around. Yeah, you find us. Yeah, not right. too hard. Oh yeah, but dude. Thank you, my friend. Always a fucking pleasure. Always dude, a pleasure, dude, dude, We got we got many more coming. I'm sure. Many more. Mm -hmm. okay, we'll, we'll get all of us rolling. We'll do this again. And check us out. So nice, man. Yeah, dude. That was awesome. Fun, yeah. How long have you been playing the violin for? Oh God. Once again, thank you guys for checking out this video. If you guys like what you guys see, please subscribe. Also, as you guys may have noticed, that this unfortunately will happen to be one of the last few shows that the Heavy Com has played. 
Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, the group has decided to call it quits. You guys can check out their final single to be released on September 29th, 2019. Make sure that you guys follow Dan and Tyler's other band, Fateless, as well as Austin James and Spencer over the next couple of months. We'll include some links to their separate projects below. And thank you all for watching. Make sure you guys check back next week. Ben's got more interviews for you guys. Peace.